am going to be reading you a story this afternoon and that story is going to be based on um, our topic which hopefully you worked out this morning and what that's going to be. Our topic is going to be uh, about arctic animals and so our story is going to be uh, one that we're going to be working on for the next couple of weeks. So it's the first time I will have read the story to you and I'm going to show you the front cover. There we go. It's called The Runaway Iceberg. Okay, so. Can you see that? The light that hopefully is not shining too brightly on it. There we go. Vanda Hoy shouted Rossi, looking out to sea with her telescope. Shall we dive in and explore, Captain? You know I don't like swimming, Gasper said, with a sigh. So we have two characters, we have Rossi and we have Gasper. And can you tell me um, what those characters are? That's right, they're penguins, aren't they? Suddenly, a cracking sound came from below them. Before they had realised what was happening, a chunk of ice had broken off and Gasper and Rossi were floating out to sea on an iceberg. Quick, swim, shouted Rossi. But Gasper was afraid. I can't, he cried, peering into the deep dark sea below. Look at his little face, look, he looks a little bit scared, doesn't he? It would be very scary, I think, suddenly going out in that big ocean. The iceberg floated out farther and farther until they could no longer see the land. What are we going to do? asked Gasper, trembling. How will we ever get back? We're brave explorers, remember, said Rossi, holding Gasper's flippers. We will find a way. Gasper took a deep breath. I guess we could use our flippers to row back, he said. But which way is home? Lift me up, said Rossi, and she climbed onto Gasper's head. But she was still not high enough to see the land. Try jumping, she suggested, giving him a little nudge with her foot. Gasper jumped. I wonder if you can guess what happened. And they both landed on the ice with a thud. Need some help finding your way? Asked the snow petrel from above. Oh yes, please, called Gasper. Which way is land? You see, he might be able to know because he's high up in the sky, isn't he? So he might be able to see a bit further than they can. It's this way, called the snow petrel, flying high above them. Gasper and Rossi used their flippers to row as hard as they could, but the current kept pushing them the wrong way. You need us to give you a push? asked an Antarctic silverfish from below. Oh, yes, please, called Gasper. Oh, they look very friendly, don't they? And they're willing to help, which is good. The silverfish pushed the iceberg along until suddenly... It became stuck. We'll never get through here, exclaimed Gasper. Need some help breaking through the ice? Asked the blue whale from the deep. Oh, yes, please, called Gasper. Look how big he is. Huge. I think he'll be able to push them. With a huge flip of its tail, the whale smashed the ice and cleared the way. Gasper and Rossi bobbed along behind it, glad to finally be on their way back to safety. Land ahoy, squawked the snow patrol. It's been a great adventure, said Rossi, grinning. We're just like real explorers. The sun shone brightly in the sky as Gasper and Rossi headed for home. Now, let me just ask you. If the sun is shining brightly in the sky, what might happen next? Have a think. Hey, stick to your side, Captain, laughed Rossi, 
as Gasper's tail feathers tickled her feet. I'm right on the edge, rumbled Gasper. The two penguins turned to face each other in shock. <gasps> the iceberg was getting smaller and smaller. It's melting, shrieked Gasper. We need to move faster. The silver, the silver fish swam quick, quicker and the blue whale helped to push, but the ice was melting too fast. We'll have to swim from here, said Rossi. You can do this, Gasper. I know you can. You are the captain after all. The silver fish started to cheer. Gasper, Gasper, Gasper. Soon everyone had joined in and Gasper began to feel braver. Gasper gulped and then with one big jump he splashed into the water. <laughs> he spluttered, it's so chilly. Use your flippers, shouted Rossi as she dived in over Gasper's head. Wee, said Rossi as she headed for home. Gasper flapped his flippers and followed nervously behind. It wasn't long before Rossi and Gasper were back home with their families. You did it, Captain, said Rossi. You got us through our most dangerous adventure yet. I guess I did, agreed Gasper, feeling proud. But I couldn't have done it without my trusty first mate. And that's the end. I don't think he could have done it without all of his friends, all of those friends that he found in the ocean. Now, we have some questions for that book for you to now have a go at answering. You don't have to write the answers down. You can just talk with somebody who's helping you. And um, tomorrow we will be coming back and doing some more work on that story. I hope you enjoyed it. It was lovely reading it to you. See you tomorrow. Bye.